Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about one of the most important and uh, you know useful instruction in Omron PLC, which is called as SCL scaling function. So, this is one of the most important instruction in PLC programming. Why? Because whenever we are going to deal with some analog values, we have to do this scaling function. Correct. For example, let's take you have a water tank over there in your industry. So, you are having the level transmitter there. So, what will be the output of the level transmitter? It will be in terms of, uh, you know, 4 to 20 milliamps. Level transmitter is giving the output as 4 to 20 milliamps. But you want to, uh, you know, calculate that in the percentage. Like how much percentage uh, my water is filled in the water tank. Okay. You are you know, uh, calculating that as a 0 to 100 in terms of 0 to 100 percentage, right? So, now you want to write a program so that the level transmitter output 4 to 20 milliamps can be read it in the form of percentage. Can you understand the concept? So, this is called as scaling. You can be able to scale any input to the required output. All right. So, let's see that in the program. So, this is how SCL will be. Instruction will be like SCL in the Omron. And the first one is having the source word. So, which is the data you want to transfer? Like your level transmitters input is the source word here. Okay. And what is your result word? Result word will be your percentage output. Okay. So, you are going to read 4 to 20 milliamps, any, any, any value in between 4 to 20 milliamps. And your output is any value between 0 to 100. Alright. So, now what is this P1? So, this P1 is going to, uh, you know, play the vital role. So, what it is going to do means, you have to tell the scaling function that you are going to convert 4 to 20 milliamps to 0 to 100 percentage. Or, for example, 0 to 10 volt to 4 to 20 milliamps. Or 0 to 10 volt to some degree. Uh, you know, 30 degree to 500 degree. Like that, you can fix any range according to your application. So, you have to tell the SCL that this is my input range, input minimum and maximum range, and this is my output input and maximum range. Like that, you have to tell the SCL so that it will calculate the, you know, output and it will, it will give the output according to your application. All right. I hope you have understand the basic concept of SCL. So, look at this. This is your input source. Okay. Imagine this is your 4 to 20 milliamps. This is your unsigned BCD output. This is our, okay, result. So, this is your 0 to 100 percentage. So, now this AS is the minimum range of your input. So, what is the minimum range of our input? Which is 4, correct? Minimum value. Not range, sorry, it's a value. So, 4. BS is your 20 milliamps. Correct. And how about this AR? Which is your 0. BR is 100. Look at this. So, P is having some address. Let's take D100. Okay. So, D100 is having AR. AR is nothing but the lower minimum value of your output. Okay, which is 0. What is AS? Minimum value of your input, which is what? 4. Are you following? It's easy to understand, na? So, AR is the minimum value of your output. AS is the minimum value of your input. BR is maximum of output. Maximum of output. And BS is minimum of your input. Sorry, maximum of your input. Okay. So, by using this, SCL will be knowing that, okay, this is the range and this is the input. I have to convert like that so that SCL can understand the concept and it will give you the output. Okay. So, I will explain you in the program so that you can understand in a very better way. This is my run condition. And let's take SCL. What is my source address? Let's take D100. Uh, input. 
data okay and we have to give this parameter address now so this is d200 and the next value output is d300 parameter minimum maximum this is output in percentage okay let's connect all right so go for the simulation Let's take a watch table. I'm going to give D100, D200, D201, 202, 203, and this is going to be my 300. Okay. So, why I'm taking all these? Because I have to give the minimum and maximum range. Correct. Now, what is this value? This is my outputs minimum, correct? This is my outputs minimum. First value is the output minimum. This is output maximum. Output minimum. Giving about Okay. So then to board. Okay, I'm giving this as 0, okay, and this fellow is going to be your 100, correct, 100, this is going to be your 4, this is going to be your 20 milliamps, alright, so you have given the value, so this is your parameters first address, so that is going to be your outputs minimum, this is output maximum. This is input minimum, this is input maximum. Why I am telling you this means you can see this conversion 4 to 20 milliamps to 0 to 100 percentage. So, if it is input, is if your level transmitter is giving 4 milliamps, that means what? There is no water inside, there is a 0 percentage volume. If your level transmitter is giving 20 milliamps, then we get to know there is a 100 percentage volume. And in between 50 percentage, half water tank is 12 milliamps. Okay. So, we will apply this input condition and we will check whether we are getting the output. I am going to give 4 here. 4 milliamps is given by my level transmitter. Output have to be what? It have to be zero, right? So we are getting zero. Okay. Now we'll give twelve, which is fifty percentage. So we are getting thirty-two over. Okay. Let's give 20 percentage. Let's see whether it is giving. It's giving 64. So the answer is in BCD. That one also we have to see. The answer is in BCD. So 
so this is 0 100 20 yes so if i give 20 millions i should get 100 okay i'm giving i'm getting 64 64 is in bcd is 100 yes see here look at this 0064 is nothing but the 100 so it's giving the correct value okay so we'll try to change the data type of this so that you can understand Okay, can you see here 100? I will give 12. So it should give 52. Can you see it's giving 50? So that's a problem with Omron because we cannot be able to see the expected uh, way. If you want, you can make use of such uh, options in the Omron software. Okay, it's showing in the BCD. You have to understand that. We are, we are expecting the answer in the decimal. See, 12, you know, 0 to 100 is nothing but the decimal value, right? Here it is showing in the BCD. You have to understand, okay, 32 BCD is nothing but 50 in the decimal. That's what you can convert here in here. You can convert all so that you can see everything in the integer. This is how scaling will be working. And this is like in the practical way, we have taken the example like 4 to 20 milliamps to you know percentage. So you can make use of any application. There are so many conversions, people will be calculating uh, the same 4 to 20 milliamps to some you know uh, to the voltage 0 to 5 volt or 0 to 20 volt or in temperature range like that they will be calculated correct look at this 0 to 100 4 to 20 milliamps the answer is 50 okay what if if you are giving 16 16 is nothing but nearly it will be 75 percentage so it is giving 72 okay so you give 80 8 8 milliamps the answer is 20 Okay, so for this, it should be actually 25. This is giving 22. No, this should be some offset value. You have to add also according to the answer. Okay, so this is the offset we usually call it as. You can add the 3. It should be the 25. So you can add or subtract the offset according to the element. Okay. So, if again you give over, you give zero. The exact percentage are coming. So, 12 is giving 50. And 20 is giving 100. Alright. So, let's see what 19 is giving. 19 is giving 96. We got most groups. Okay. So, this is called as a scaling application in industry. So scaling is most important instruction. So you can apply this to any scaling function, anything like 4 to 20 million as I have told you. I have taken the level transmitter. You can uh, you know take the temperature transmitter or pressure transmitter that to convert to the uh, you know some other value. So this conversion is mostly used for processing. It is used to uh, help in processing the data okay so this is scaling function and one more application over here that is the reverse scaling let's see that also what is reverse scaling 
So reverse scaling is your BR is less than AR. So what does that mean? Here sometimes what will happen? No, let's take the same example. 4 to 20 milliamps is converting to 0 to 100 uh, percentage. Sometimes the requirement will be like 0 have to be, I mean 4 have to be uh, matched to 100, 20 have to be matched to 0. In that case what you will do, you have to reverse the range. What is this application means? Let's take a, a you know, flow, flow of some liquid or something is there. Okay. According to your level transmitted value, you are going to close the valve or open the valve. Okay. So there are two types of valves that is normally closed valve or normally open valve. So for this you are going to give the instruction whether that may be the 100 percentage or 0 percentage. So you can fix whether 4 is matching with the 0 percentage or 4 is matching with 100 percentage. 20 is matching with the 100 or 20 is matching with 0 percentage. Okay. So suppose in the previous scaling function what we have done 4 is equal to 0 and 20 is equal to 100. In your some other application you want 4 have to be equal to 100. In that case what you will do? You can do the reverse scaling. Okay. So it's simple. You can see the difference. Here AR is down, BR is up now. So here also AR is, BR is down, AR is up. That means what? The lower range have to be up, lesser range have to be down. So, what you can do in the instruction is, you can interchange the 100 and 0, that's it, nothing big. How the output you want, like that you can put. So, here I am giving 100, here I am giving 0. This is reverse scaling, nothing big. Okay, I am doing force. Now, see. You are giving 20 milliamps, but your output is 0. 0 percentage. 0 percentage. Look here, 0 percentage. You give 4 milliamps, your answer is output is 100. 100 percentage open. Valve is 100 percentage open now for empty. Empty tank. What is 4 milliamps? There is an empty tank. So you have to open the valve, you know, fully. So you are giving 100 percentage. Correct. Right. So like this you can make use of scaling and reverse scaling in your application. I hope you have understood this concept. I will meet you in a session with another interesting topic. Thank you.